Welcome to Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. If you have questions about how to build your weight loss business, Carol Clark has answers. Join her each week as she and her expert guests share actionable steps to better outcomes for your clients and more revenue and referrals for you. It's time to experience your ultimate success and enjoy what you do each and every day. Hi everybody, it's Carol Clark and I wanted to share with you today four different ways for you to remain motivated in your career. And as physicians or healthcare practitioners, it can be kind of hard to stay motivated. You know, you're faced every day with lots of different things in your practice, perhaps patients who are non-compliant, staff that may be causing sort of a ruckus or end up really causing some negative mojo or vibe in your office because they're negative and you're just surrounded by all these things and all the decisions that you have to make every single day. But I want to talk about four ways that you can stay motivated for enjoying your practice and your uh, career. The first one is to, it's going to sound maybe a little bit counterintuitive, but to challenge yourself. For all in this field because you like to be challenged. I mean, think about all the challenges that you've overcome in medical school and through your residency and all that sort of thing, you like a challenge. So keeping ourselves challenged, keeping yourself challenged is one of those things that helps keep you motivated because you're always learning. You have that sense of self-fulfillment and you also know that you're growing as a person and as professionally and in your practice. So making sure that you're challenged in some way by adding a new service, adding a new treatment modality, changing up how you're offering things to your patient, that challenge helps keep you motivated. The second thing is to celebrate the success that you experience, whether it's success in just your practice and a low turnover rate, the success of your patients, who, as you know, are just so grateful, celebrating their success, celebrating your success as you perform more weight loss procedures or care for more patients or further improve the health of your community or give back in many ways, as you always do. Celebrate those successes and take the time to pause and recognize those because those are really significant things that will also keep you motivated. The third thing is reward. So whatever it is that you like as a reward, is it revenue, a higher salary? Is it more time off to be with your family? Is it more time to travel? Is it time to do your hobby? Is it, what is it about your practice? Is it to grow your practice, to move to a larger facility, to become the dominating force in your community? Figure out what rewards mean the most to you and then continue to work to attain those. If you're not getting enough revenue and you feel like you're just struggling, you're putting in so much time and talent and blood, sweat and tears and you're not getting the revenue that you think you should be getting or that you know that you should be getting, then I'd like to help you look at some additional revenue streams to help build that in your practice and how to add more patients to your practice. But figuring out how you like to be rewarded is the third thing that will help keep you motivated. And then the fourth thing is just to um, look at what's happening with your patients and your team. Think about the positive effect that you've had on your patients and all those people that you've improved their lives and also your team who rely on you, making sure that you surround yourself with great people in the terms of patients and also your team that represents you out there in your office and oftentimes in the community is really critical to make sure you've got you've built up a strong team that supports you that will help keep you motivated and your team is not only your staff at the office but it's the professionals that surround you those your accountants your attorneys all those professional people that help you grow your practice and function in the best possible way so that you can have the greatest reach and then get back to getting the majority of the rewards for you and those that you love and those that you serve. So those are my top four ways to stay motivated at work. It was make sure that you have a challenge, make sure that you celebrate your success, make sure that you understand what you feel are rewards, what is it that you value as a reward, and make sure that you keep those top of mind and work towards those. And then also just um, making sure that you surround yourself with a positive team 
a great group of people who are loyal and who know that they want to serve you as well as the patients that you serve and thinking about your team as well as the patients because they're relying on you i know which can create pressure but it also can be something that helps motivate you to continue to do your very best each and every day so i know you're out there doing wonderful things i just wanted to share some of my viewpoints for how to stay motivated because we know each day it's not always easy to stay motivated days are kind of rough things are thrown at you you have to make all these big decisions uh, but we like to make sure that you remain motivated and that you're enjoying what it is that you do each and every day. I hope this helps. Thank you for tuning into the podcast. Until next time, you take care. That's all for this episode of Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and visit weightlosspracticebuilder.com to stay up to date on more ways to build a successful practice that you love with results, revenue, and referrals. We look forward to having you join us next time.